This is the Schneider mixer that we are trying to communicate to using Modbus. So we will be trying out a few different methods through which we want to get data out of this Schneider smart meter. So the meter in your picture is basically an EM6436 conserve model. Currently it is uh, kind of obsolete but uh, still uh, the basic idea on how to configure this and get data out of the meter remains the same. So once you have such a meter, there are few things that we want to see. So basically regarding the communication aspect. So what we will do is we will see what is the current configuration of the smart meter in terms of communication. So we will have to kind of check okay the configurations for communication aspects, basically the baud rate, the parity bit and all. So if we see these are the electrical part will kind of switch or move on to the communication part so you can see the board rate is basically currently set at 9600 parity is even uh, id basically the slave id for the uh, mode bus is 2 and these are the other things basically the important thing that we want is these two these parameters that is the board rate the id and the parity right so the meter in the picture basically is kind of with an id 2 but for the experiment or for the demonstration i'll be reading uh, with a meter that has an id 1 this is the setup that you need to get data from the schneider meter using a RS485 to Ethernet converter. So the wires that you can see here, the red and the black are the wire mode bus communication lines that comes from your smart meter. This Ethernet basically is going to the device that acts as the client. For in my case, I am using my computer desktop as the client. So the client code will be running on my PC. So this Ethernet wire is connected to my PC and this is the USR TCP 232 304 RS485 to Ethernet converter. So <laughs> we'll see how you can or what configurations that you need to make in this USR module and how you can do that or how you can get fetch data from this Schneider meter using this module. We will see how we can configure the USR IoT module uh, to make successful communication between your client and the Schneider meter. Right, so this is the exact model that we have here, the USR TCP232304 module. So here, uh, basically if you go to their website, they have the specifications and the downloads. We need to download one tool to configure that. Uh, before that, um, the function that we are going to use will basically see. So, what we want to do is we have a serial device, which is in our case your Schneider meter, and you have a client, which could be your PC or your Raspberry Pi, wherein you are ra uh, running your TCP client. Now, in between, you will have this module, which takes a Ethernet connection or a uh, TCP co connection from the TCP client and you want to uh, communicate with the serial that device which is your smart meter right so what this module enables is whatever data comes in the Ethernet it gets converted to your uh, RS485 format so among the multiple modes that is available for the uh, USA module what we need to make sure is we have to configure this as the TCP server so your client which would be in this case your PC wherein we have a Python script that tries to communicate to the Schneider meter through this module so we have to configure this as a TCP server so once you are clear with that let's download the tool that we need so for that you need to download this usr mov 2.2.exe uh, so once you have downloaded it you can run that it's like this 
for a window like this will pop up now make sure you have connected the ethernet port of or um, of your pc or your raspberry pi to the ethernet port of this rs 45 to ethernet converter through a lan cable once you have successfully done it and powered it up once you click on search device you can see the ip address for your rs 45 to ethernet converter so you can see this is the ip and maybe you can configure it to the ip that you want maybe for your system or for your computer or network ip might be different so you make sure it's in the same network and another thing that you have to configure is the port serial port parameters so we have to set it in such a way that this port parameter serial parameter is exactly the same as the one that you have configured in your schneider meter so for our case it was even parity 8 bit data and one stop bit Border rate was 9600 and uh, you have to set among the different options you have to set the ERS485 to Ethernet converter to work in the TCP server and the port through which you will request the data from your client then once you have configured it with the username password and all click on save the device will automatically be configured Now if you want you can actually go and view the web version also. So here also you will see the serial port again you can see the same uh, configuration itself 9600 bits per second 8, da 8 bit data even parity stop bit 1 and the local port number as 23. So you can see the IP for the device is or the ERS 485 to Ethernet converter is 169, 254, 161, 200 but the port number is 800 for the web based UI and 23 for communicating or getting the data from the serial port so this is something that you have to kind of think and remember also please make sure it's in TCP server now over to the software part for this code development so I'll be using the PyMod bus library which is available in for Python. So this is the GitHub page for that particular library and you can install it by just click install PyMod bus and it will automatically get installed in your system. So here you can see it supports the TCP, RTU over TCP, DDP, CDL and DLS. Right. This is the code that we are using for getting the data from Schneider Meter using the RS485 Ethernet converter. So here we need to understand few things. There is the Schneider Meter that we have which is the EM6436 series. This does not support Modbus TCP assets. It supports only Modbus RTU. The converter that we have here is uh, Ethernet to RS485 that is uh, RTU so what we are doing is basically we are using RTU over TCP so we are sending RTU frames over TCP so for that we uh, the library again we are following or using is the PyMode bus library itself now in this what we will first import is basically the TCP client again uh, it's the object that we are going to create now apart from that we are going to kind of have one more uh, import from the PyModbus library which is called as the PyMod or sorry ModBus RTU Framer so using these two combination that is the TCP client and the ModBus frame RTU Framer we will be kind of creating an object so this line basically helps you to create an object which will be a TCP client but internally it will have the RTU frames so you are basically transmitting uh, RTU frames over a TCP uh, connection and this is the IP of your RS485 to Ethernet converter and this is the port number that you have configured in the uh, RS485 to Ethernet converter configuration file. 
Now again here also we are basically reading two registers. One is for the line to voltage, uh, line to neutral voltage, and another is the frequency. So the uh, first parameter or argument is the register number. Second is basically the number of bytes that you want to read, and third is the slave ID. So this set of lines are basically to decode uh, the data that you get as a response. And this assert line is basically to ensure that the response is not an error. And here again we have the same replica of code but with the different register ID. So we'll see how we can kind of get the data from here. So in my terminal, rtotcp.py so if i run this you will be seeing that okay i'm getting voltage and the frequency uh, uh, for every one second right so again if you want to get data from any other registers do check out the data sheet for that register uh, to the register number and similarly identify how many bytes you have to read from that particular register.